All right, guys, so today we are going to replace the hard drive on this Lenovo V330. It came with just a regular SATA drive, and we're going to replace it with an SSD for a little bit better load speed times. First thing is make sure it's powered off. So we're going to start off by removing all the screws here from the bottom before we can lift up the tray. All right, so now we're going to lift up this clip, pull out the DVD drive. Under here, under this drive here, there are two more screws that we have to remove before we can uh, lift up the bottom tray. All right, so now what we're gonna do is from this right-hand corner, um, we're gonna start removing it, from, like just unclip it. I'm just using my nails, I didn't need to use any force. I just stick my nail through and then just kind of slide it all along, all the edges. So you, you can hear the clip kind of removing. I'm going to start here from the top left hand corner and uh, clip it from here and just uh, unclip it a little bit, lift it up and then from the bottom as well on the same left hand side. You don't want to just yank it off because you don't want to break the clips. You want to be able to uh, have some of the clips back when you clip it back on at the end so that it, you know, it stays everything in place nicely when you screw it. So you'll see at the end there, but yeah, definitely move it slowly like I'm doing here and you don't want to break anything or break any of the clips. First thing we're gonna do is remove the battery here, or unplug the battery. And then we're gonna here unclip uh, the, the cable from the drive to the motherboard. And be careful with the clip, you don't wanna break it off. And then there's four screws here. We're gonna remove them really quick. And the drive down. And then on the drive, holding the drive into the caddy is four more screws that we're gonna remove. And you can see there's the 500 gig drive that they included, so obviously we're gonna swap it up for the SSD here. And then once that's done, I'm gonna just push this, put this down the way I kind of removed it so I know how to put it back in. Although it'd be kind of straightforward anyways, but you know, just to play it safe, see I put it down the way it is so then I know how the drive goes in before I start screwing everything in. And this is the new drive we're gonna put in. All right, so I'm just gonna first connect the SATA cable to it. Just get it clipped in. Slides in very easy. And then you got the four screws holding it in place. I put those in now. And then I'm gonna put this in here and screw it in first before I plug in the SATA cable, or not the SATA cable, the cable from the drive to the motherboard. Put that in. Make sure it's fully clipped, lined up properly. And just put these last four screws in. Don't forget, I always seem to like to forget to do this, but don't forget to plug in the battery before you put the backpack on. So I'm just gonna put it back the way I started unclipping it the first time, from this right hand corner. Just make sure everything gets clipped in nicely. Then I'm just gonna screw all the screws back in. And now that it's finished, if you guys need to know how to make a Windows 10 bootable USB or Windows 10 install, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.